Okay, my hair is a mess. I need to get it done. So yeah, just not comment on that. I really want to commit to uploading once a week, but it's very hard because I don't know what in the world I'm gonna film. Usually, it's very hard for me to get um, inspired. I really don't know what I'm going to be filming. If you guys hear any noise, that's my daughter, as usual. I'm actually gonna record what she's doing right now. This is my setup. She's all the way over there. I need to watch her so I need to make sure that she's okay. So yeah. <laughs> if you guys know this brand new setup, that's because I got a brand new apartment. Because I want to listen to music just so I can get to the right mindset. I'm gonna do the tutorial as a voiceover because it works well for me. I feel like I make the video shorter when I explain what I'm doing with a voiceover instead of actually explaining it as I'm doing it because I take a longer time. So I figured out how to cut my videos a little bit shorter. So yeah, voiceover me kick in right now. So I'm taking Argan Oil by Physicians Formula and I'm applying that all over my face. I'm using this as a primer, so I'm just gonna rub it in so it can seep into my skin. Oh, really quick, actually, sorry to interrupt. Um, I haven't got any pimples. I just got one like here and I popped it because of course I couldn't help myself. My face has been pretty clear actually, just a few blackheads over here. Nothing too crazy and I owe it all to this. I spoke about it in my last video. I spoke about this one, the cleansing foam, but I wasn't using the toner at the time. You guys can find this in Whole Foods um, or wherever they sell like natural organic things. So what I spoke about before was the cleansing foam. This is actually the toner. I put this before and after I wash my face. So I use this twice a day in the morning when I wake up and at night when I come back home from work and I have makeup on. You gotta kind of like do it in moderation. It's really, really sensitive. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. Actually, the fragrance is really natural. So if you have sensitive skin, I really recommend this. I'm actually gonna see if I can find it online to see if they sell them together as a bundle or something for you guys. And I'm gonna link it down below because this is really, ri this, this has been working so well for me. Going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me, I'm mixing that in together and I'm applying that on my face. Then I go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Beautiful Bronze and I use that to contour. I also bring it down the size of my nose so I can thin and make my nose a little more narrow. And I use the same angled tapered brush that I use to blend out my foundation and blend out the contour. I leave the um, dark concealer on my nose until I use um, the light concealer to blend it out because I don't do that immediately. So I leave it on, I do my eyes, my eyebrows, I do everything and then I use the concealer to sort of blend it out. If anyone was wondering. Then taking the brow definer by Anastasia in dark brown, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and also shape them. Yeah. I can't have the tissue before you sneeze, you know. I can't bow down at your feet, you know. Then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand, I'm using that to carve them out. Yeah. I got a triple king bed and I don't mind sharing. I got a I'm making small lines in the beginning of my eyebrows, basically just mimicking brow hair to make it look more natural. And with a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna blend down that concealer towards my eyelids to use it as a primer. 
and then I'm gonna take the L'Oreal brow powder and I'm gonna use that just to darken my brows a little bit because I felt like they were looking a little bit light and kind of sparse. Then I'm taking this next loose powder and I'm using that to set the concealer that I put under my brows and on my eyelids. And I'm using the new beauty blender to blend out my nose contour. And again with the Too Faced Chocolate yeah. Gold Palette because I've been loving it. I'm taking that brown shade yeah. and applying it on my outer V. And also in the inner play. corners of my I'm eyes, which is basically know. like a halo eye. Taking that nude shade and I'm going to use yeah. that to blend out the brown. And just make it appear yeah, very smoky and seamless. Yeah. I jump out of relationship before I get left. And with that champagne glitter yeah. shadow, I'm gonna spray money and setting spray on it and apply that just yeah. on the middle of my I lid. It, I, I was going to put it all over my lid, but then I changed it, my I mind and it became a halo eye. Big hotel suite, I'm the only one. And to intensify it, I'm gonna take that silver and apply it a little bit over it, just so it can look more like in your face. I'm taking the black shadow, I'm going to put that over the brown, so basically again my outer V and inside my inner corner. That nude shade is my best friend when it comes to blending out and smoking colors together, so always make sure you have a neutral shade to do that. Mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers in 15 and 20, I'm going to use it to highlight under my eyes, on my chin, over my nose, and down the bridge of my nose, and then I blend that out with my beauty blender. And I set that with the NYX loose powder. And with that middle bronze shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm going to use that to bronze my face up and highlight with the WhatsApp Highlighter by Benefit. Taking those two shades from the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit, I'm going to use that to put right over the WhatsApp Highlighter. From the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm taking those two darker shades and I'm applying them inside the hollows of my cheeks to make my cheekbones appear more beautiful. I'm lining my lips with this brown eyebrow pencil, but you guys can use any brown lip liner that you may have lying around. So my camera died. I had to charge it really quick. So yeah, and my daughter is being a crazy mess. This is when filming becomes very difficult for me. And then I stop. But I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let the camera charge. Do something about her because she's hello. No, no, mama. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a, in a few. Okay, so my camera died. You guys know that from the clip I just showed you. I applied the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow, put that over the um brown that I was putting on my lip. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys all so much for watching and your continuous support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you on my next one.